Hello everybody. Welcome back to the shop. Ten more minutes. Thunder Chief building action. Brought to you on a Saturday morning. In Philo Vision. Okay everybody, we had some drama going down in the shop last night. Oh, them gear. Uh, Dad's idea ain't gonna work. So I'm gonna need someone out there to volunteer to call Dad and tell him. <laughs> so it's gotta be the bearer of bad news here. <laughs> no, I called him this morning already. Uh, I'll show you the issue. All right. This pulling, it won't get this last little bit. You see how that's coming down? It won't get that last little bit right because it's at the wrong angle. It needs to pull more down like this. This last little bit needs to curve down and this, this, it just won't let it do it. And what it's doing is it's got some slop like that at the end. And uh, didn't work out very well. And uh, oh, dumb me, thought it was going to work perfect. Hooked the gear up, put the gear doors on, hooked that gear door up to an air cylinder, put the wing on, hooked the air to it. <laughs> and, and it retracted great, but it only went up about that far. Gear door came down, snap, broke my dang hinge. So I had to fix that and pop that one off and do it on. Then I was thinking about moving my air cylinder up here and not use it off them horns because they, they snap off so easy, especially on this wing where I'm going to be taking it on and off. And them little horns or them little, little tabs just snap right off of there. And I, I think I can make a better, better one up here. But anyway, what I had to do... I took that thick dad's mount system and put it over there on the bandsaw and just cut it off. Took the air cylinder off, cut it straight off. Um, I'm gonna let dad have that because he's got another idea, and you know we could use on the other gear. But I want to get mine in the air, so I want to go ahead and just put. I'm gonna do it. Oh my original mountain blocks. Okay. I got it clamped in there, and it works great, man. Just that it gets it that last little bit and holds it tight against that spar. Well, I should have did more testing before I put my gear doors on. I just thought it was going to work. You know. See, it holds it tight against that spar. Therefore, I can put my gear doors on and then they'll be tight. You know what I mean? So what I gotta do is I got this bolt right here. Bolting my uh, spar to that piece of wood. You guys seeing this? The bottom bolt. I'm just going to take that bolt out. Okay, this plate is right behind that bolt. I'm going to take that bolt out and uh, mark on this piece of aluminum where that is. Then I can drill that out and tap it. It's going to work great. Dad was kind of worried about that air cylinder pulling on them gear and, sh and moving them gear. Shoot, I got a bunch of holes in there and they're countersunk and the screws fit in there perfect. I got one of these uh, countersink things from Harbor Freight. I actually got it a long time ago and I've never really used it. And it's kind of a strange looking countersink. See, it's got a hole in it going that way. And I've never really used it. I thought it'd work good on wood. I put it on that aluminum. 
man you gotta watch it yeah this thing will bore right through it <laughs> that is the best little boring tool countersink I've ever seen man that thing works good I've had it a long time never used it but uh oh hey uh scott i'm uh trying to figure out that camera on my buddy scott there oh one bad evox one uh one bad something uh send me a little camera a little ht camera it's pretty cool it's uh exact eye the Sanyo exact eye says they have a YouTube feature I'm trying to get it figured out but we're gonna have some high HD videos on the Thunder Chief but I just want to make this quick video and let you guys know where I'm at and uh, I'll be going to make some videos today you know what caught me on one of them days where I feel like making some videos Epoxy Loctite. Anything else? I don't want them bolts going out of there. There's still plenty in there. And plus, uh, this will. I'm going to put another bolt in there. Okay. 